You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone? This is my heritage. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Solus? No. Do not ask me again. I would be. You lead the Inquisition. This is not a risk you can take. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. What's to stop you from taking the knowledge and leaving? My word. If that seems insufficient, Corypheus threatens all, even myself. He must be stopped. And who stops you? I, Inquisitor, seek neither immortality nor your life. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. So many voices. They would be in your head, talking over you. You don't want them. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. So you're all right. <laughs> Elasim Salah. His son. His son Allah. I. I am intact. There is much to sift through. But now we can.
It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corythius and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. And I won't hide from him. He knows this and will act accordingly. And how could you have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Just kill his dragon. Why didn't we think of that before? There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. 